What's up guys, it's your casual gamer and today I want to talk about keeping those ROMs organized. Now I know it can be a hassle to have multiple ROMs and have to load up multiple emulators to play those multiple ROMs because those multiple ROMs are for multiple consoles. Well, with this software called LaunchBox, you don't have to worry about that. It organizes your ROMs, it puts them all into one spot. You can load in multiple emulators, multiple games, it separates them by categories, by consoles. Everything is nice and neat and pretty to look at. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, here we are at launchbox.com. Link in the description below. We make your games beautiful. Emulate, organize, and beautify your game collection. Features we know you'll love. A game launcher with style. Organize your game collection. We love emulation. Steam library imports, which is pretty cool. I haven't tried it, but seems you can import your entire Steam library. Excellent how-to video tutorials. So if I don't cover something in this video, they got you on YouTube. And we have a great community. All right, here's your download button, guys. This is free, but I suggest that you don't download the free version. If you come up here to premium, click on premium, get premium with big box. Now, I suggest you get the premium version because there are so many more features and I'm telling you, you guys won't regret it. You do have to pay for it, it's not free, but I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Now, these are the extra features you get. Color themes, 10 foot interface with big box, game pass support, custom field and filters, custom font sizing and spacing, and so much more to come. Now, if you guys wanna know the price, yes, I said price, don't be cheap. Like I said, it's worth it. You definitely wanna get one of these. The regular license is $20, that's $20 for a year. Forever update license is $50, meaning you'll never have to purchase this again. And the renew upgrade is $10 to renew or $30 to upgrade. I suggest you guys get one of these licenses right here, either the regular or the forever. Me, I have the forever. If you're big on emulation and you know you're gonna continue to use this in the future, I suggest pay the $50. Don't be cheap, get it. It's definitely worth it. All right, one more thing I wanna show you guys before we get off of the site. Let's go up here to forms. And this will be the LaunchBox community form. You will have to sign up for it. Just enter your email and create a password and you're good. This is where you can go to find all your skins. If you come over here to search, just type in skins. And you'll get a list of skins created by the users, which just will make your LaunchBox and Big Box look a lot more prettier. All right, now that you have LaunchBox downloaded, whether you're on the free version or the premium version, you will see this. Welcome to LaunchBox 10.7, that's the latest version, and you got some tutorials down there on how to upload some Steam games and some ROMs. So let's exit out of this. Let's exit out of this. Now, for the purpose of this video, I have converted my LaunchBox back to the default settings, so you won't see any skins or any extra features that I had on here. This is what it'll look like for you guys. If you're using it for the first time, for the purpose of this video, I tried to make it look like it'll look for you guys. I'm gonna show you the most simplest way to upload ROMs and emulators into your launch box. So let's open a folder that contains both. In my case, I keep all of my stuff on an external hard drive. Let me highlight three GameCube games. All you wanna do is highlight them and drag and drop right into the launch box. And then you should get this pop up. What type of game files are you importing? In our case, these are ROM files, so click on ROM files. Platform for imported games. Our platform is Nintendo GameCube, so let's scroll down, find GameCube. Hit the next button, choose an emulator. Hit add. Now, if you don't already have an emulator downloaded to your PC or external hard drive like I do, you wanna click right here, click to download Dolphin. Now it's gonna give you the most recent and the best emulator for whatever type of ROM you are uploading. In this case, it's a GameCube game, so the best emulator for GameCube is Dolphin. But since we already have it downloaded, we can go to browse. All I need to do is find my external hard drive and find my emulator on my external hard drive. Select it, hit okay, and there you go. Now my Dolphin for my external hard drive is connected to my launch box. Hit next. 
Now, would you like to move or copy the files? You can copy the files into Lunchbox, you can move the files into Lunchbox game folder, or you can use the files in their current location. It's up to you, but I always leave my files in their current location. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Yes, make sure the first box is clicked. Now, would you like to download images for your games? Now this is the way your game is gonna be displayed inside of your launch box. Now you can select any of these that you want, but I prefer that you guys make sure that you got the box front and the box back and the box 3D images selected. Even if you don't select any of these other ones, which I don't, just make sure those ones are selected. Hit next. Would you like to download media from MU Movies? Once again, that's optional. Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Now, I suggest that you guys click on this. Combine ROMs with matching titles into a single game. And the reason I say that is because I don't know if you guys recall, but back in the day, GameCube games, well, some GameCube games, used to be two discs because they was too big to fit on those little discs that GameCube had. So, when they created ROMs for these games, they created two different ROMs, disc one and disc two. By you selecting this box, it'll combine both ROMs into one game. So when you click on that game, it'll be both disc into one. So make sure that's clicked. Next. All right, now here's the three games I selected to be uploaded. We hit finish. It's uploading. It's searching a database for the box art. All right, we got all three games uploaded. We got 007 Agent Under Fire. We got 1080 Avalanche and we got Animal Crossing. And if you notice when I clicked on each game, we got some back art back here. That comes from the launch box database. Now, if you wanna make your game boxes bigger, we go to this little bar at the bottom, pull that to the right, and it makes your game boxes bigger. If you wanna change the way your game boxes look, go up to image group and go to 3D boxes and you get those 3D boxes. Now guys, this is just basic stuff from LaunchBox. I have so much more I wanna show you guys on this, but we're gonna to have to say that for another video. There will be another video in the future, so be on the lookout for that. And before I get off of here, I gotta to prove to you guys that this works. So I'm gonna launch up one of these games. Let's launch up, let's do Animal Crossing. Just to show you guys that this is official and everything I just showed you works. And there you go. As you can see, everything is working. And we're in the game. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy Launchbox. Taking all the stress out of finding your games and having them all in one spot, A, hey, you can't beat it. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. And until the next video, peace.